Hi guys, let's get to it. So today we are gonna be talking about penguins again. So penguin huddles. So penguin huddles. Let's take a look at number one. On number one, it says, penguins get together in groups called huddles to keep warm. How many penguins do you see in this huddle? So these are adult penguins. They look familiar from yesterday's lesson. So how many can stand on a ledge? 10. Let's double check. Let's count by ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's count by twos. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Awesome. Let's count by fives. Five, ten. Awesome. So we have ten penguins on this ledge. Let's go down to number two. It says, how many more penguins do you need to join each group to make a huddle of ten? So how many do you see that are missing now? I see, hmm, let's count, two, four, six, eight. So if our problem was we need it to equal to 10, right? Equal to 10. So we need, there we go. It says how many to make a huddle of 10? So we know that it's gonna equal 10. How many do we have so far? eight penguins plus how many more do we need? We don't know, so let's put a box around it. So you guys can just watch. You guys will be writing when, we, um, when you do your worksheet. So this, this part of the lesson, just watch. If you'd like to, you can follow along though in your composition notebook. So eight plus how many is 10? So let's look at our hands. We have 10 fingers, right? We have 10 fingers. If we had eight, how many more fingers would we need? Five, six, seven, eight. So how many are we missing? Two. Let's double check. Eight, remember our dot counting? Eight, nine, ten is two. Good job, guys. All right. We know that the next problem, it's going to pro most likely be a huddle of ten. So let's take a look at this picture now. Let's take a look at this picture for right now. It shows a group of how many? One, two, three, four, five. We know there are five penguins. Five plus what equals 10? Computational fluency, we know this. Five plus five, it's our doubles. Five plus five equals 10. If you need to, check on your fingers. Five plus how many more? One, two, three, four, five is 10. Good job, guys. So I'm gonna erase this part now. Let's take a look at the next picture. Take a look at this picture. How many penguins? Let's count by twos. Two, four, six. Six penguins plus how many more equals 10? Good job, you should have had four. Awesome, because six, remember our dot counting. I like to put four dots. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10. E six plus four equals 10. Good job, guys. Let's take a look at this back worksheet. So it says, number one, here is a huddle of 10 penguins. Two penguin pals are swimming toward the huddle so they can get warm too. Do you see them swimming? How many penguins will there be all in all? That is a key word. How many will there be in all when the two penguins join their friends? So let's we know that they're gonna be joining, so we know this is an addition problem, and we know in all. So let's see, how many are on the ledge? Let's count, let's count by ones first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Okay, there's 10, let's count by twos. Two, four, six, eight, 10. Let's count by fives. Five, 10. So we know there's 10, how many are joining them? Two, there are two are swimming. So what's 10 plus two then? How many will there be in all? Because that's what the question is asking. You see that question mark? How many penguins will there be in all when the two penguins join their friends? So what's 10 plus two, friends? Good job, it is 12. So these are word problems. Do you see this? This is an equation. This is a number equation. And this is a word problem. Most of the time in math, we're used to the number equations. We're used to this one. But we are going to be focusing on, we're going to be focusing on these ones. The number or word equations. 
So I'm going to erase this and let's go down to number two. Here is a huddle of ten, ten penguins. Six penguin pals are swimming toward the huddle. So we don't see the six penguins down here, but we know. We'll put it right here. One, two, three, four, five, six. So six are swimming toward the huddle, but they are too far away to see. How many penguins will there be in all when the six penguins join their friends? So we know there's how many penguins on the ledge? 10. It even says that we can count or we can even read. Here's a huddle of 10 penguins. 10 plus how many more are joining them? The equation said six. It says six penguin pals are swimming toward them. So how many all together? What's 10 plus six? It would be 16. Good job, friends. So remember zero in the one spot, we're just going to pretty much put the six in the one spot. Let's figure this out. I'll show you a different way. 10 plus six. So we know this is the ones place value. Actually, I'll write it down here so we have a little bit more room. We know this is the ones place value and this is the tens place value, right? Ones, I wish I had a thinner marker. My S doesn't look like an S. Ones and tens. So zero plus six is six, put it in the ones place value. And one plus nothing is one, so put it in the tens place value, 16. Good job. All right, let's take a look at the next problem. Oh. Well, the next problem doesn't even have any pictures. Ooh, tricky, tricky. There were 10 penguins in a huddle. Okay, we know there's 10 penguins, right? Some more penguins joined them. How many more? Some, we have no idea, so I'm gonna put a box. And then there were 14 penguins. So all together, how many penguins all together? 14 in the huddle. How many penguins joined the huddle? Write an equation to show. So there were 10, some more joined, and all together there were then 14. So what's 10 plus something equals 14? Yeah, think about it, 10, count on, 11, 12, 13, 14. How many fingers am I holding up? Four, I'm gonna put four right there. Let's double check, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Good job, so word problems. Most of the time word problems don't have fancy pictures. So we just have to kind of start to solve these without pictures. You can draw pictures though. When you have word problems, oh yeah. If you need to, if you were like, hey, I need that visual representation. I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, plus four more. One or let's try four, ten. Using computational fluency, so rather than going one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, we're just gonna say, oh, that's ten plus four more, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. If you guys need to draw pictures, you are more than welcome to. So let's take a look at number four. There are no pictures for number four. There were ten penguins in a huddle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Some more penguins joined them, and then there were 17 penguins. So plus some more equals 17. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So take a look. These are kind of like our tens, our um, 20 bracket. So there were 10, so that's five, 10, 15, 16, 17. How many more are missing? Take a look underneath. I wish I had a different colored, oh, whoops. I wish I had a different color Expo marker so that way you can see. Take a look. To complete this, one, two, three. Three. Oh, there were 17 altogether. Whoops, let's actually erase that. Sorry, friends, I'm trying to confuse you. Five, 10, 15, 16, 17. So there are 10, and so this is what they already have. That picture, looks like this picture, right? So how many more joined? Take a look at the top. Five, six, seven. Let's try seven. 10 plus seven equals 17, right? If we want to add it up and down, it would look like this. 10 plus seven equals zero plus seven is seven. Put it in the ones place value. 
one plus nothing is nothing. So penguins. So are we talking about iguanas? Nope, we're talking about penguins. I'm gonna label it. So let's double check that equation. There were 10 penguins in a huddle. Some more penguins joined them. Then there were 17 penguins in the huddle. How many penguins joined them? Seven, yeah, it says write an equation to show. So your equation can look like this. It can either be written uh, horizontally. Remember the horizon, my friends? The horizon, those are my cacti. Or it can be written vertically, like stairs. Vertically, or excuse me, horizontally or vertically, your choice. Awesome job, friends. All right. Get on to your worksheet and please do that in your composition notebook.